ان الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وسيق الذين كفروا الى جهنم زمرا حتى اذا جاءوها فتحت ابوابها وقال لهم خزنتها الم ياتكم رسل منكم يتلون عليكم ايات ربكم وينذرونكم لقاء يومكم هذا قالوا بلى ولكن حقت كلمه العذاب على الكافرين قيل ادخلوا ابواب جهنم خالدين فيها فبئس مصوى المتكبرين صدق الله العظيم ما دي ابدز از اي ريسايتد ذا فيو ورسز اوف سوره الزمر And in these verses, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the comparison of the believers and disbelievers. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will treat them, the believers and disbelievers. First, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the situation of disbelievers. Allah said in this ayah, that, وَسِيقَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا إِلَى جَهَنَّمَ زُمَرًا Those who are disbelievers, they will be driven to the hell. Hatta idha jauha, until they reach to the hellfire. And when they reach, so the doors will open for them. Futihat abuabuha, the doors of the hellfire will open for these disbelievers. And waqal lahum khazanatuha, the keepers of the hellfire, they will ask them. Or you can say they will scold them. They alam yatikum rasulum minkum yatluna alaykum ayat rabbikum. They did not come to you the messengers of Allah subhanahu wa taala. Did not come to you the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa taala that recited the verses of your Lord. And wa yunziruna kum lika yomikum hada. And warn you from the meeting of this day of yours. So what these people will reply? They will say, "Qalu bala." Indeed, they came to us, but we did not accept their invitation. Walakin haqqat kalimatul adab ya al kafirin, and the word of punishment has come to you into effect upon on the disbelievers. And then the keepers of the hellfire will say to them, "Fadu khulu abu abu jahannam," that enter in the gates of the hell. خالدين فيها تو ابايد ايترنلي ديرين فبئس مثوى المتكبرين اند ذا ريتش از ذا ريزيدنس اوف ذا ايروجنس جهنم ويل بي ذا ريزيدنس بليس فور ذا ايروجنت بيبل ذات از فيري بيد بليس فور ذا ديسبيليفرز مي الله بروتكت اس ناو الله سبحانه وتعالى منشن ذا سيتويشن اوف ذا بيليفرز الله سبحانه وتعالى منشن وثيق الذين اتقوا ربهم الى الجنه زمرا that those people who have the fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala those people who have the fear of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they will also driven to the paradise hatta idha jauha until they reach to the paradise to the doors of the paradise wa futihat abwabuha and the doors has been open for them wa qala lahum khazanatuha and the keepers and the security guards of the paradise they will say directly they will not ask anything and they will say to them salamun alaikum peace be upon on you that will be the welcoming of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tributum and you became favor for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in the result fadkhuluha khalidin enter in the paradise and to abide eternally there So the life of the hereafter that will be forever, that will not be for the limited time. Even if you are in the hellfire or in the paradise, but it will be forever. And then, when these believers they are going to enter in the paradise, so they will praise Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and they will say, "Waqalu alhamdulillah illadi sadaqana wada." that all the praises is only for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sadaqana wa'dahu and he fulfill his promise which he made with us 
Now what was the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah mentioned in Surah At-Teen, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ فَلَهُمْ أَجْرٌ غَيْرُ مَمْنُونَ That those people who believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those people who do the righteous deeds for them, there will be the reward uninterrupted. There will be the reward which will have no end. That is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now the believers will accept on the day of judgment that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fulfill his promise. Ain wa'awrathan al-awd and made us inherit the earth. Natabawwa'u min al-jannah and we may settle in the jannah haythu nasha wherever we want. Fanayma ajul amilin and that is the excellent reward for the believers. And then when these believers will enter in the paradise, so they will see the angels. They will see the angels they surrounding from the from the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And what they will do? Yusabbihuna bihamdi Rabbihim. They will praise of their Lord. وَقُضِيَ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ And this, the judgment between them in two. وَقِيلَ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And it will say to them that all the praises is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the Lord of the whole universe. My dear brothers, that was the comparison of the believers and disbelievers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminding us again and again sometime in the form of story and sometime in the form of comparison like this. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't want, do not want us that we enter in the hellfire. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and forgiving. And he is trying that he forgive their servant. And he wants us that we enter in the paradise. That's why he reminding us again and again that we should choose the right path. And what is the right path? That is the path of the glorious Quran. This glorious Quran, that is the right path, so follow this. In Surah Abbas, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned the same subject. Allah said, That on that day, on the day of judgment, some faces will bright. Zahikatum mustabshira and they will laugh and rejoice. But on the other side, Ujuhun Yomazin Aliha Rabara, some faces will have dust on their faces. And these people, Ulaikahumul Kafaratul Fajara, these will be the disbelievers and these will be the wicked ones. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to choose the right path. May Allah give us the ability to learn the Quran to learn the translation of the Quran and may Allah give us the ability to implement this Quran in our life because without Quran there is no success without Quran there is no success that's why I am telling you again and again that come to the masjid we already started uh, there's a Quran on uh, every Monday or sometime it will be Tuesday uh, maybe um, after Maghrib so that is the best opportunity for you people, even it is uh, for adults and as well as that is for youth. Both can join this, the Quran word by word. So if you learn the Quran, inshallah, it will be beneficial for you. May Allah give us tawfiq to follow Allah and His Messenger. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah li wa lakum wa lisa'i wal muslimin.